Hello everyone, my name is J-E-I-K, and I welcome you to another video. While this won't be as big as my other lore videos, I want to talk about a small detail that shows up in all the Love Abound characters, and why all these characters have white flowers appearing in their official artwork. Or, in some cases, their actual attack animations. This detail is actually brought up in Fire Emblem 6, where Lilina, one of the characters that appear in the Love Abounds banner, talks with Marcus, Roy's advisor and guardian paladin to the Ferrain throne. In their peace support conversation, Lilina asks Marcus, what kind of couple was Elowood and his wife like? Which then Marcus goes to explain, Lord Elowood loved his wife deeply, and one night before the two became engaged, Lord Elowood suddenly disappeared from the castle. When he returned to his love three days later, he presented her with a beautiful white flower which only grows in the snowy highlands. It was the flower which she loved the most. Now while that may seem like, oh he just went up to the mountains to pick some flowers, that really isn't the case. Throughout Fire Emblem 6 and 7, it's repeatedly talked about how the landscapes of Ilea are terrible frozen wastelands, with lots of mountains making any kind of agriculture difficult to sustain. It's so difficult that all the people that lived in Alea would become mercenaries just to meet ends meet. It's so difficult that people would rather risk their lives than to try and thrive in Alea. Again, referencing Fire Emblem 6, the support conversation between two characters, Juno and Zealot, who are both characters yet to be added into Heroes, really outline the difficulty of living in the frozen wastelands of Alea. Their ace support talks about how they cultivated the lands and that Zealot can finally come home to see their daughter but Zealot is physically hesitant to come home due to the harsh wastelands that is Alea. So picking up these white flowers isn't any easy task, and the fact that Elwood went himself to pick the flowers just goes to show how devoted he is to his then fiance. And while the white flowers are such a minor detail in all the Love Abounds artwork, it just goes to show that even such a minor detail within the picture really shows how much thought is put into the lore of the Fire Emblem world. But either way, thanks for watching. This has been JEIK, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hopefully I can see you around for next time.